34 new developments on a special election down south in Georgia. It's becoming a referendum on Trump's persistency. The two top candidates are vying for a spot. They're heading for a runoff. ABC's Janae Norman breaks down how a win by the Democrats could reflect on President Trump. Democrats hoped for a knockout in the battle royale over Georgia's 6th congressional district, looking for the one-two punch to take the long Republican-held seat and offer a sign of strength among voters who oppose President Trump. When President Trump embarrasses our country or acts recklessly, I'll hold him accountable. But young Democrat John Ossoff came up short against a splinter GOP field, failing to reach the 50% threshold to win the 18-candidate primary outright, now headed for a June run off against leading Republican Karen Handel. I'm running for Congress because we need to have someone in Congress who is going to be serious about getting the job done. President Trump offered his support, raging on Twitter that Ossoff would be a disaster in Congress and recording this phone message. Liberal Democrats from outside of Georgia are spending millions and millions of dollars trying to take your Republican congressional seat away from you. Don't let them do it. Ossoff's Make Trump Furious campaign fired up the president's critics. Records show Democrats from out of state poured in $8 million worth of support. And overnight, the president taking credit for Ossoff's marginal loss, tweeting, Despite major outside money, fake media support, and 11 Republican candidates, big R win with runoff in Georgia, glad to be of help. But the 30-year-old former congressional aide is already looking ahead to June. Let's show what people power is all about. Numbers overnight showed the leading Republican, Karen Handel, with just under 20% of the vote. Ossoff had just over 48%, more than the leading four Republicans combined. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington.